Hey guys, just picked up this Renault G suitcase solar panel setup. I'm going to use this for my tent trailer mostly so I don't have to pack my generator. It's a 200 watt 20 amp setup. Comes with a PWM charge controller and uh, we're going to see how it works. It's uh, pretty heavy, it's about mm, 30 pounds probably. Comes in this nice suitcase. There's a handle. We're gonna open this up and hook it up and test it out. So stay tuned. This is what you get with your kit. You get the solar panels right here. You get the cable kit right there and the case that it comes in. And it's all ready to go. You also get this charge controller and it's everything you need. So I'll show you how it goes. Just plug these in. Black to black. Just push it in. And then red to red. And they snap right in. And it's ready to go. Now we'll hook it up on the battery. Black to black. Red to red. That's it. As you can see, the sun hasn't quite made it to the solar panels yet, but it is charging. 1.1 amps which is better than the 0.1 amp that was charging this morning so let's check again and see what we're doing so we were at 1198 this morning and we're at 1223 and it's been about two hours without direct sunlight I would say this is gonna work I'll come back and check though when the sun is directly on the solar panel and see what happens. After playing with this a couple days, I think I kind of got a handle of how this is working now. As you can see, it's in full sunlight right now, which is great. But let's go to the charge controller. If you can see the charge controller, it says, full 13 6 volts and it's still hooked up to my main battery right here and it's showing 13.61 so what happens is the charge controller doesn't show what it's charging. It just shows the battery voltage. But if you can see the bars up on the top, they flash like any other kind of solar thing that you're charging. And when they stop flashing and they're all full, it just says full. But as it's charging, it shows pretty much battery voltage, maybe 0.01 or 0.02 more. But that could just be the difference between the charge controller and the multimeter. So I saw some reviews where people were saying that these don't work because it doesn't show charging voltage, but I don't think it's supposed to show charging voltage. But it successfully charged my battery just fine. Beautiful sunny day, it went pretty quickly. I would say a couple volts in a couple hours, really. And it cuts off when it's charged. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a, it's a good purchase. I'll leave a link in the description on where I, where I got this. So I'll give it, I'll give it five stars. But I'm gonna do a follow-up video 
I'm going to use this with my tent trailer, my overland trailer, and uh, we'll see if it'll go a weekend and run my fridge and all my accessories and, and we'll do a follow up video. But for now I think it's a 5 star. So appreciate you watching my video and go out and do something amazing today.